a new drought resilient semi dwarf wheat gene which can be grown in drier soil conditions discovered by an international team of scientists has given new hope of sowing the crop in water limited environments this is a welcome relief for morocco which has been reporting sharp declines in common wheat durum wheat and barley production due to extreme drought conditions emanating from the impacts of climate change in the country. Here now is a report. This is a cereals market in Sali, Morocco. Grain baskets are brimming with wheat, but all is not as it seems. Everything is more expensive, fertilizers, insecticides and petrol. Farmers are really suffering. We thank the researchers because they make some new and excellent crops that help the farmers. These crops are encouraging the farmers to carry on working. Without them, the farmers would have abandoned this profession and left because the old crops no longer give a good harvest. Research to develop new varieties of several types of wheat and barley has started to yield results in Morocco. Over the past decade, the International Centre for Agricultural Research and the dry areas in Morocco's National Institute for Agricultural Research have developed six new varieties of durum wheat and barley. These resilient crops reach up to 30% increase in productivity during times of drought without sacrificing nutritional quality. In the year of drought, these varieties shows a yield of uh, an improved yield of 30 percent compared to the other varieties, the old varieties. So with this improvement, we believe that we could uh, face this challenge and address the issue of uh, food sovereignty and we will approach to this food sovereignty uh, because Morocco generally when there is this years of, of drought, we, we rely on importing cereals from other, other countries. As climate change intensifies, this type of advancement in agricultural research is crucial in stabilizing yields in Moroccan farms. A strategy called Generation Green was launched by the Ministry of Agriculture to expand direct seeding of wheat to 1 million hectares, which would make up to 25% of all Moroccan agriculture. Our objective is that the varieties we developed, thanks to our cooperation, reach the Moroccan farmers as soon as possible. Agronomical research is giving a great importance to produce crops in big quantities. We started a program to do this three years ago. Today, we develop new crops and we give them to the companies that have a license to produce the new crops in big quantities so that they can reach the farmers after three or four years. Traditional ploughing involves turning the soil over, which leads to loss of water through evaporation. Researchers say that direct seeding is more efficient. The newly developed varieties of wheat can be planted through direct seeding even during drought. The North African country is also dealing with inflation. Morocco's export-driven agricultural strategy is in question as the price of vegetables in domestic markets hits all-time highs, almost as much as supermarkets in France. To deal with drought, Morocco's government has also been paying more attention to the argon oil production sector, notably by building 13 reservoirs to collect scant rainfall and help mitigate the region's ever-worsening droughts. Rabat aims to double argon oil production by 2030, hoping to support the emergence of a new generation of the rural middle class. However, with fewer and fewer young people taking up the craft, time will tell whether another generation will learn the traditions associated with the tree. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.